All right, so you guys want to know how your boy lives and parties in Miami? Well, here's a sneak peek on how I live in the 305. So we land Thursday night, and despite some baby crying all flight, it was like, whatever, I was here, we were ready. So we decided to head to Wynwood, and we went to Pilos, and then we went to Dirty Rabbit. I ran into some friends that I knew before, and then from there, we went to Hallandale Beach. I don't even know where the hell that is. I guess it's in between Fort Lauderdale and Miami, something like that. Um, they had a booming atmosphere. It was Heavy on the Spanish music. Hookah vibes were on point. As you can see right now, we've met some friends here who I kind of knew already from Miami. So they came with us and told us about the spot. It was a solid night. After a short night's rest, we went to SLS. Y'all know I love SLS. one of my favorite spots. On a Friday, it's usually not as busy as Saturday and Sundays, but it was still buzzing with energy. It was still worth coming to, as you guys can see right here, and your boy had a time. After my midday nap, it was time to work on my beloved sneakers. Yes, my sneakers. Can't be stepping out the house with dirty kicks, so I had to restore some of my sneakers. Because last night, some of them took a beating, and then the night before that, I was out, and that definitely took a beating too. As I can see right here, my ball man shoes definitely have seen better days. But that's because these have been my faithful party companions. I had to blend white with all the primary colors to fit the right shade of beige, applied multiple layers, and then sealed it. Trust me, if you value your sneakers at all, or if you just don't like them looking too dusty or they get scuffed up, pick up some Angulus paint. I'll leave that in the description below. It's cheap. But as I was waiting, I was waiting for Instacart to come. Ordered a whole bunch of TV dinners, pancakes. I know it's not the most glamorous choice, but sometimes you got to make do. Especially when you're doing a dirty run like this where you're doing multiple moves a day. You might not always have time to go to dinners. And I'm not a huge fan of my Miami food personally anyway, so it wasn't like a big loss. So ate some garbage, went downstairs because we were staying at Fontaine Blue, so they got a bar right there. And Liv's line was insanely long, as you guys can see right here. I was like, sheesh, well, guess we ain't going there tonight. So we decided to head to Mr. Jones. It's going to be a hip-hop spot, and it's going to be a table-only club. If you guys need a table, hit me up, and I'll send you to my boy Earl. He could take care of you. But Mr. Jones was on fire. People were out here wowing. Energy was solid. Bottles was flying. People were just flowing in on just these little roller coaster looking things had me a good time ran into a couple of my boys along the way from new york city i was just bouncing around i had me a good night now saturday rolled in and we headed to strawberry moon perfect balance of like party social and chill vibes you know what i mean people are just chilling relaxing it's easier to talk to people and just mingling if you guys are good talkers this is the spot you want to go to if you guys want to opt more for a party and have more energy, SLS is the spot. After Shore Raymond, we took a nap, then we ate dinner. You guys know what I have for dinner. Some more of these TV dinners and pancakes. Don't laugh at This stuff gets ready in five, 10 minutes. Now, let me tell you about Eleven. If you didn't know, this is the best club in Miami, hands down. The line resembled something at like an amusement park. It was packed. Absolutely packed. There were baddies all outside. Shorties, whoo. Eleven's that spot. Once inside, even more baddies. People were just throwing money. It was a good time. No matter if you're a guy or a girl, you're going to like 11. I recommend buying tickets. Actually, I recommend buying tables. But if you can't buy tables, buy tickets definitely. Otherwise, they will tax you at the door. We were here till around 5, 6 in the morning. Sunday, I popped into Nikki's Beach for a little bit because they got a little bit of a brunch. And then we headed to Old Reliable SLS. Had me a solid time there. For dinner, we decided to do something different because we ran out of TV dinners. And so we went to Gecko, which is Bad Bunny's restaurant. I was actually presently surprised. The food was pretty good. Really good for Miami standards. I would definitely go back here again. We got to live a little bit early before Super got popping. If you guys don't know, Live is a late night spot. And before I knew it, it was like three, four o'clock. Met some people at Live who also saw me from YouTube. So I was chatting with them while my boys were having the time of their lives. It looked like they were over here well and they had knew some girls and they were, they were getting a little a little turnt. Now we're on to Monday. Monday was all about recovery. We didn't once stay at the pool at the Fontaine Blue, so we decided to do that. We just stayed at the pool, lounged around. I stayed in the shade. I ended up the Bar Cote. Love their vibes, love their atmosphere. After that, we ventured to water at the one. Just the rooftop, just to enjoy the chill atmosphere. You know what I mean? It has really good curated vibes. This this is definitely a spot that just looked like money. And people who were staying there, they just, they looked a little too fancy for me. I need to stay here at one point in time. Then on Monday night, we were going to go hit Swan, but I kind of overslept a little bit. So we ended up at Vendom. Definitely a hip hop club. And if you get Vendom on a good night, especially on a Monday when they got a good artist, Vendom is that spot. I, I kid you not, Vendom is that spot. Easily a top five, top six venue in Miami. So finally, Tuesday came around and I was ready to go back home. We had a late night flight to New York City, but as soon as I landed in New York City, again, people hit up, asked me to come to Nebula. So I was like, you know what? We got to do this for the one time. So we ended up going to Nebula that night. It was an all right night at Nebula. 
tequila. I mean, I was definitely gassed and exhausted. But I had to do it for the one time. And then I took my ass home and slept for days. There you have it. That is the way I do Miami. I do it straight aggressive. I don't really have relaxing vacations because I'm usually out here getting reviews for you guys. My name is Mr. Nocturnal. Make sure you guys subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you guys actually want to see what it looks like from the straight POV from when I'm visiting different cities. If you guys have any questions about Miami nightlife, hit me up on Instagram. I'll be sure to help you with any questions you guys might have.